John, I've always told not to call me manager. I'm the drug distribution manager, but when I'm here, I'm just Peter. Yes, manager. Anyway, the girl I'm interested in is called Alec. She's from your community. Oh, I know Alec. She said the company next to mine. She's very young and beautiful. Hey, she's not as young as she looks. She completed school three years ago, and currently she's looking for a job. Maybe you can organize for a meeting between her and me. Well, I'm not sure, but I can try. Come on, I'm sure you can find a way and I'll return you the favor. It's okay, I'll see you there. This weekend, if you can meet at the bar, drinks will be on me. No problem, I'll arrange that. Great, well, John, let me rush to the street. There's some medicine being flown in. I have to pick them up. Yes, manager. Peter. How is your mommy today? Not so bad. At least today she has eaten a bit. Okay. I have to take her to the clinic almost every day now. I know she will be okay. May God hear you. Someone here to see you. Who? John is at the gate. He want to talk to you. Talk to me? Over what? I don't know. He said it won't be long. Just a minute or two. Hope he's not carrying a basket. He likes sending me to the market every evening when he comes from work. No, maybe you should not keep him there for long. Just see him, and if he won't send you anywhere, don't go. Tell him you're busy. I am. Here, if mother wants anything, just give her. I'll be back. Code of conduct, code of conduct, chunga. Be very careful. This thing you urges people are talking about, what do you call it? Code of conduct? I mean, banning people from having sex with others just because they are refugees. I can't accept that. Damn goodness, I'm a policeman. I'm with you, Moses. The fact that you're far away from home doesn't mean you're far from our feelings. Come on, Peter. We are here to assist refugees, not to take advantage of them. Damn. The only difference between a citizen and a refugee is just the ration card. <laughs> I'm very sure they also have desires. You got it. Let me toast to that. Yeah. Come on, guys. Be serious. You know very well that those girls have no other choice because they need food or clothes or whatever. You don't believe that they are really going out with you because they really like you? <clears throat> if they had another choice... Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. This is Alec. What a beautiful name. I'm Peter. And I'm Moses, you, you are welcome. Thank you. This is Dan, our transport manager. So what are you two taking? I'll have a task, please. Coca-Cola. Waiter, yes. task and a cough, please. If you will excuse us, guys, there's some matters I want to discuss with the leg here. If you don't mind, we'll move to the next table, then join you shortly. Ah, it's OK. You no can problem. keep moving. You're welcome. 
Oh, he had a lick. Thank you very much for coming. I'm sure your presence shall make my day. Beautiful girls like you are rare to find. That's why I consider myself a very lucky man. It was very time. Everybody could have seen me getting out of the car. Like the most important agency worker. Hey. You mean you went out only for joy, right? Where? Hey, hey. There's more. Peter will organize for an ambulance anytime mother is sick. Even if she can walk, I'll no longer be holding mother, taking her to the clinic, and he will organize for a referral. If we need it. Think and change overnight, Ale. You are not wrong. When we go to the hospital, there will be no spending of time lining up for treatment. John will walk us through. It seems you have knocked the right door, my friend. <laughs> no, Abu. The door came to be knocked. And you really knock it to open? It's already open wide. Next weekend, Peter will be going for his leave. And he will give me money for the days he'll be away. And he say, I'll buy whatever I want with that money. Hey, I like my friend. Including a new pair of shoes. And a dress. And every night we warm the room. This is for me. Hi, my God. He give you this? Yes. So something happened. Things don't happen. They are done. Ale, I should see this angel of yours. He must be having a handsome face. Not really. He's ugly. <laughs> you are lying. Trust me. But you have loved him so fast. Because I have to. My mother is really sick and in deep pain. I'm sure Peter and his friend can help. And besides, I need new clothes and pocket money. What will you have done in my place? Thank you. 
Maybe today we can enjoy some eggs. Ayam! Yes, I'm coming. Now, I'm going to send you to the shop. Go and buy for us 10 eggs. And this is 1,000. Let them give you the correct change, huh? Will you give me a minute, please? I'll be back soon. Sure, baby. So, I hear you have a new girl. She's called Chantal. A sweet young Congolese girl. If only her brothers could be sweet and leave me alone. What about her brothers? They went to the police station the other day complaining that their sister quit school just because she's going out with me. Oh, what happened then? Ah, nothing serious. The policeman they found at the desk is a good friend of mine. He told me about it. I'll probably pay them a little visit. I mean, if they think they can take me anywhere, huh? I better think twice. Are you talking about the girl I saw you with the other day? Yeah, did you like her? Strikes me as being very young. Maybe, but the younger the better, right? Yeah. Who here would like to go out with an old woman? She uh. is underage, and the code of conduct prohibits this. Ah, code of conduct. Does this code of conduct provide for our feelings? It is very difficult to be here months after months yeah. without having any fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Thank goodness I'm not a humanitarian worker. You are a humanitarian worker. You are here to provide protection to refugees, the same as to all of us. It is your job. Can't we just drink and have fun? You agency workers are strictly instructed not to discriminate against the refugees in any way whatsoever. Oh. Of course. Uh, you provide them with the food, Shelter, medical aid. What about love? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you discriminate against them when it comes to love? Are they not supposed to be loved like any other human beings? Hallelujah! It is different between refugees and us. Man and woman are the same the world over, at least to me. Yeah. These are people who have taken refuge in a foreign land because of the terrible things they've experienced at home. Yes, they do have rights. But their very situation makes them vulnerable to others taking advantage of them. You and you, and most of us here, are with no doubt more powerful than them. It is not right to abuse that power. Good someone. Can we carry on with drinks? Is there any relationship in which man and woman are equal in power? Are you done equal in power to your wife? But I'm not abusing <laughs> that power to take advantage of her. And in the end, it is my obligation as a humanitarian worker to protect refugees from abuses. Wait up. Two to each of us here, please, and be fast. Please don't act anymore. I should be leaving right now. It's getting late. That's fine. I have the company vehicle. I'll take you home. Relax, Dan. I'll just drop her off, then dash back. So you say the car was stoned after you dropped over a lake? Yes, I heard some people cursing then. Suddenly a giant stone came through the window and the screen got the cracks. I don't know I'm going to manage working in that area. I dread going there. A smashed window. And cracks on the windscreen. It is going to be difficult to cover this one for you. Come on, Dan. You know my job would be on the line if the program manager gets to hear what really happened. You know, there must be an investigation on this. This is now very difficult. You are in charge of vehicles. Your report will carry a lot of weight. My friend Peter, you are really putting me in a very tight spot. I can't understand all this.
Good <laughs> Lord, so they finally let you out? Yes, I just lied to them that I'm going to see my friend Abu. Otherwise, here yeah. I am. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry your car was being stoned yesterday. Ah, uh, that's a small thing. It has already been fixed. Anyway, come on in. Never exploit the vulnerability of beneficiaries. Never engage in any sexual activity with children. That is Never condone or participate in any corrupt or illegal activities. Never, never, never exploit the vulnerability of beneficiaries. Ensure that any breaches of the standards set out in this code are immediately reported to senior management. Yes, that is it. Just a moment. Uh, come in. Bye. Thank you. Good. It's okay. I just want to call you later. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please yeah. have a seat. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good. So, you say all this is about Peter and that it is confidential? Yes, but sir, uh, I would not like uh, all the other workers to know that uh, it is I spilling beans. No, you don't need to worry about that. Everything will be kept confidential. But remember that you also must not discuss this with anybody. Yes, uh, he has a relationship with the beneficiary. He's going out uh, with a tinker girl called Alec. Mm -hmm. She has a sick mother, and there have been rumors that uh, with the help of John, he has organized for her preferential treatments at the hospital. So I thought uh, it would be good for you to know what is happening before it goes too far. It's good you've come to report your suspicion. If our staff are obliged to report such cases, and anybody who does not report such a case risk disciplinary action being taken against him or her. In fact, any staff or witness will have disciplinary action taken against him if they don't keep this confidential. Yes, sir. Yeah. But however, it is important to understand at this stage that all this is being treated as allegation. Investigations shall be conducted to determine if a breach has occurred. Right? And once the investigation process is in place, you will be called upon to give your side of the story if need arise. Thank okay. you, sir. Right. Thank you. Oh, by the way, he has this policeman friend of his who is running around with an underage girl. But I guess nothing can be done about that. Actually, that's not true. In fact, the police do have a code of conduct which is very strong on abuse. But they say that uh, they're not agency workers and that uh, they don't have to follow any rules. No, there is a system which requires one to report such cases direct to the OCS so that they are de investigated by the district criminal investigation officer. I guess uh, the refugees are not going to have much faith in that process. No, what we are encouraging is to have all such cases reported to the UNHCR so that they follow it up with the police. And we as agencies will be in a position to help the, with the such cases. Aha. Uh -huh. In that case then, I better tell you more about uh, this police officer. Please do. This is ridiculous. Well, as ridiculous as it is, the agency has no otherwise but to... I cannot accept such accusations. Who said this on who? Well, I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you any names. Confidentiality is important here, and it is in your own interest as well. And only the investigators will be told about this case. Sir, I'm being framed up in broad daylight. We're not saying that you're guilty. And that is why we are conducting an investigation. This is not fair, sir. Someone is playing malice on me. Now be assured that all your rights will be accorded you according to the regulations of this agency. Otherwise, from now on, you will be on suspension until the investigations are over. And that you are not permitted to discuss this case with anybody else, right? 
Any discussion about this case with anybody else will be treated with the due courses in this house. So, this is why they suspended me. You know, for being an accomplice. Wow, so it means that this code is applied to us, the incentive workers as well? Yes. I also thought this applied to the national and the international staff only. When you send the code, you must abide by it. But we are refugees. It doesn't matter whether you are a refugee or not. But the fact remains that once you work for an agency, then you are considered as a humanitarian worker. This means you have to conduct yourself as any other person working for the agencies. And all I did was just tell them a little. <laughs> 